Thank you, Jason. New here at 6, the city of Tampa is continuing its work to protect and preserve historic cemeteries, which may have been forgotten or abandoned. Today, the mayor and other city leaders shared what they're doing to get that work done. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell breaks down the progress they've made and what's still left ahead. Looking at Memorial Park Cemetery in East Tampa, you can see it's come a long way. African-American soldiers who fought in the world wars are interred here. Osea Wynn is the city's administrator of neighborhood and community affairs. She shared with me the city's efforts to improve Memorial Park since the death of the property owner over two years ago. These photos give a glimpse before the city started maintaining it. There was a torn, broken down fence that we have now replaced with wrought iron. Um, the, there was grass and weeds grown up. It's part of the work the city is doing to protect many historic burial grounds that have been forgotten or abandoned. The steps that we are taking are not going to right past wrongs, but what they are going to do is ensure that we do not have lost or abandoned cemeteries in the future. In their progress, city staff helped the Zion Preservation and Maintenance Society become a nonprofit entity, and the city also contributed $50,000 toward a memorial. Going further, the city says it worked with council members to change the land use category of all but one city-owned cemeteries to further protect them by restricting development. We have a lot of work to do. Officials laid out some focus points moving forward. We're also going to be proposing to add uh, a list and designations of all the cemeteries that we currently know about, not just the, the city-owned cemeteries, but also uh, the privately-owned cemeteries as well. City leaders acknowledge the work isn't over in preserving and protecting historic cemeteries. It just gives me another level of appreciation and respect to know that I can do something just, just more to make sure this history is not forgotten. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.